Finals Championship Game. Yahoo! Super Mario Odyssey. Mario's upcoming adventure will take you and our final two competitors on a globe-trotting journey through everything that makes a Mario game magical. Fantastical places with hidden secrets, surprising thrills, and intense challenges. And now, his new partner, Cappy, can give him control over certain objects, enemies, and creatures, granting him incredible new moves. In this three-part finale, our final two competitors will get to play this unreleased game right now. Each of the first two challenges grants the winner a five-second head start in the last challenge. Whoever defeats the boss in that final challenge first will be crowned the winner of the Nintendo World Championships 2017. May the ultimate Nintendo fan reign supreme. Super Mario Odyssey to determine the champion here at the 2017 Nintendo World Championships. And before we tell you more about what these players will face, let's break down the rules in this three-part championship game. First challenge, first player to touch the moon at the top of the tower wins a five-second head start in the final challenge. Obviously, then you head to challenge two, where once again, you will get a chance to grab the moon at the top and move on with a five second head start. But let's get back to obviously a lot of the action that's taken place as you see what happens in challenge two. And then final that fi finally that final challenge, if you that have that head start, Mario might potentially be able to move. Yeah, so this is kind of like the Nintendo Championships in a nutshell. This, is gonna, this game is gonna bring all of their Mario skills to bear. Thomas G right now with the early lead. John Numbers trying to figure out what you need to do here. You see that light, but no, John Numbers falling through the light. How do you figure out that puzzle right there? Meanwhile, Thomas G, he's in the lead right now, realizing that, okay, something happens when I hit those P blocks. Let me go ahead and hop in that tube, see what I can do here. Both players trying to get a feel for the mechanics at this point. John Numbers going back, trying to reset the situation on your left-hand side. Still plenty of time left in this one as he has time to make up ground against Thomas G. And you look at trying to figure out the problem solving, transitioning Eric from 3D to 2D, not having all of Mario's moves at your disposal when you go to 2D mode. Yeah, absolutely. Generally, 3D Mario games are about exploration first and foremost. So you're going to go somewhere, realize you need to actually do something else and kind of backtrack, whereas you never backtrack really in a, uh, in a 2D Mario game. John Numbers is basically neck and neck with Thomas G at this point. It seems like John Numbers might have solved this puzzle essentially. Thomas G, meanwhile, trying to hit that blue platform at the right time. John Numbers, no! Can't quite make that jump on your left hand side. Thomas G, though, gonna be welcomed with an easy jump and eight coins as well, too. And Thomas G takes the early lead over our defending champion. John Numbers, You've got some classic platforming action right here. John Numbers trying to figure out those red and blue platforms on your left. But here comes Thomas G now, trying to line up three platforms here. And Morgan, it's all about patience. Yeah, I think these guys are, at this point, they both get what's going on in this level, and now they just have to execute it under the pressure. Oh, Thomas G lines it up perfectly, has a stairway to hopefully a potential victory as you climb the red blue and green platforms. Meanwhile, John Numbers still trying to figure out the second section. And Thomas G gonna go ahead and grab the moon and wins the first challenge, which means Ooh. that's good for a five second head start and our third and final challenge. And what we saw here was the quick problem solving by Thomas G here, Eric, of recognizing the situation and seeing what the objective was. Yeah, that was really kind of the first big sort of puzzle challenge that these uh, competitors have faced in the entire uh, yeah, competition. Sure. Five second head start good for Thomas G. That'll apply to the third and final challenge. However, if John Numbers wins the second challenge, that will negate that head start, meaning they will both be starting even with each other on that third and final challenge. And you look at the different moves in Morgan, how difficult is it when you're 3D Mario and you've got all those moves? And like I asked Smitty, you go to 2D mode and now all of your movements have changed drastically. Yeah, I think after that first level, maybe they're both feeling like, okay, I'm starting to wrap my head around this game and what I'm gonna have to bring to bear. Because I mean, a five second head start, even a 10, that might matter a lot, that might not at all. So in one hand, I might just be using the second round to make sure I master these controls because all that really matters is that final game. It's such a good point. The controls, they always add more abilities for Mario and what he can do and figuring out what area calls for a specific move from Mario. But how about Thomas G rising up and getting the victory in the first challenge against John Numbers, our defending champion? Yeah, you know, I was surprised how easily he moved through that level. It was really impressive to watch. 
as we get set for the second challenge. The players are getting everything queued up at this point. And you look at a five second head start and some, pe some people may be like, well, Morgan, that's not the greatest head start. But when you have players that are this good and they are so equal to one another, a five second head start can be the difference between winning and losing. It's true, that's true. But sometimes coming from behind makes you run a little harder, press a little harder, and you don't can't sit on that advantage. So. Challenge number two. Simple. First player to touch the moon at the end of the level is going to go ahead and add five more seconds to their head start. As we said, players are getting queued up and ready to go. And it sounds like we are set to go. So, Andrea, let's go ahead and kick things off. All right. Thanks, Jordan. I've been waiting to say this all show. Who is going to capture this round? Oh, come on. It was a good dad joke. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Players. Here we go, three, two, one, go. That first challenge, we saw them hit some P-blocks and now we have early use of the capture mechanic as John Numbers flicking himself upwards with the fork and trying to figure out how things happen in this level. And then you see those blue arrows that's gonna go ahead and move Cappy if you use Cappy against those arrows. And John Numbers already quickly figuring out this level on your left-hand side, but oh, yes. Very nice. That's critical, Morgan, realizing you've got to do the double capture in midair. Yeah, I think we talked about Cappy, Mara's new sidekick, and I think this really shows what he's gonna do in this game. John Numbers using the wall jump and sliding on top of the blue play. And John Numbers, how about that, folks? Just like that, how you like me now? Getting that moon <laughs> and negating the five second head start in the final challenge, which means both Thomas G and John Numbers will start at the same time as we get set for our third and final challenge, which will determine the 2017 Nintendo World Champion. Fitting, Smitty, that it would come down to Gauntlet an equal games. start. They've stayed in the entire stages. They haven't dropped down to the underground. Super Mario Odyssey, our final challenge. The first player to complete the level and defeat the boss wins the 2017 Nintendo World Championships. To get things started, here's Andrea. I'm so nervous right now. I'm nervous for these guys. The final countdown about to begin. Three, two, one, go! As we mentioned, no head start for either player. John Numbers on your left, Thomas G on your right. Oh, that's a clue right there. What will that laser beam do? Thomas G has the path cleared in front of him right now, but that ice can be a little slippery. You see a Goomba that Thomas G avoids. Meanwhile, John Numbers trying to navigate everything. Oh, Thomas G captures a Goomba, and you notice something. Hey, these feet don't slip on the ice, Eric. Something important to keep in mind. Yeah, that is a little hint that he gives you, and uh, it may come in handy. And this is the first 3D space they've had to really navigate here, Morgan, and try to figure out exactly what you need to do as John Numbers takes a hit and drops down to two units of health at this point. Yeah, I think that both of you guys, we can see them kind of working it out, and uh, I'm really impressed to see, you know, as we said in the opening, there's not just a level, there's a boss waiting. We had that in the card, so is that in their head yet, or are they just focus on the steps in front of them? Thomas G on the right-hand side has the early lead right now. John Numbers oh. trying to catch him. Oh! John Numbers flirting with the edge at this point. Thomas G hopping on the flower, advancing his way right now. And what do we have coming here? A bullet bill fast approaching. Thomas G, though, not able to get that bullet bill to come close. But John Numbers captures the bullet bill and Numbers accelerates to the lead at this point. And what you're noticing here, Smitty, it's a homing bullet bill. John Numbers trying to make his way. You see him in the lead right now. Thomas G captures the bullet bill. He's going to go ahead and advance and try and catch up. John Numbers with a one-two hit on the other bullet bill. Has to navigate some moving pillars. Try not to crash that bullet bill. Oh, John Numbers, no! John Numbers hits the pillar and must restart. How far back will he be sent? Thomas G, meanwhile, just trying to avoid these pillars, trying to get to the final platform here. And yes, Thomas G is going to go ahead and enter the cavern. John Numbers, meanwhile, 
He's sent back packing, having to redo this bill, bill stage. Costly mistake here, Eric. Yeah, you know, he figured it out, so it shouldn't take him too long to catch up. But meanwhile, Thomas G is... I love that long jump from Mario. I mean, it, you make cover so much space in so little time. Oh, Thomas G notices there's a bullet bill right there. Have to try and capture that. That's going to buy some precious time for John Numbers. Oh! Just in the nick of time, Thomas G, before that bullet bill started flashing, able to catch it. And before you know it, John Numbers already in the same arena as Thomas G. And here comes the boss. The only thing standing between Thomas G and this 2017 championship is this boss. Thomas G's got to figure out how to make his way against this boss right now. Oh, Mario taking a hit at that point. Gonna go ahead and get stunned. John Numbers, though, falling to his doom. And Thomas G taking control of that one arm, trying to get contact with the boss. And yes, that's one hit for Thomas G. Gotta be patient when you take on this boss, getting that critical heart to the right-hand side. John Numbers, meanwhile, trying to figure out how to even get to the boss part right now. Thomas G on your right-hand side. Has to get some more hits to claim the championship at this point. Oh, we see some icicles falling, bringing back memories of Donkey Kong Country Returns. And Smitty, you gotta watch out for both these hands and the damage that they can do. And then once they, you know, punch and uh, fall on the ground, you actually have to, uh capture them. Oh, so Thomas G unable to get to the boss's face by controlling that arm in time. Misses a chance to get attacked. John Numbers trying to have a comeback here. Numbers misses with that capture. Thomas G weaving his way. Makes contact with the boss. Thomas G getting closer and closer. Meanwhile, John Numbers trying to figure things out at this point too. Trying to come from behind and defend his title. Sees that that hand is stunned. But keep an eye on Thomas G on your right hand side. Could be moments away from crowning a champion here, folks. Thomas G trying to avoid the damage at this point. A couple of claps. That's not the oh, time. No. Oh, Thomas G oh, has one unit of life down. left. Has to hang on and avoid those icicles. Can Thomas G hold on and stay alive? Or will John Numbers come back? Mario trying to avoid. Mario captures the last hand. Thomas G. What's going to happen right here? Thomas G hits an icicle. And Woo! Thomas G closes things out. Teetering on the edge of losing a life is able to get the final definitive hit. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a new Nintendo World Champion, Thomas G. <laughs> Clearly that game taking away all my voice right there. How about that finish there, Morgan? You've got numbers trying to pull a comeback. Numbers falls a couple times. Thomas G almost <laughs> running out of life, and it came down to the wire. I, if Thomas G ran out of life, their numbers would not have let that. He made him pay for that. That was amazing. And just the sense of relief right now, I'm sure, for Thomas Ooh. G. Meanwhile, John Numbers comes up this close to defending his title. An absolute exciting action. And for more with these two, let's toss it back down to Andrea. My heart is racing, as is everyone's in the audience right now. Oh my gosh, you guys did a fantastic job in a brand new boss fight from Super Mario Odyssey. John, congratulations, you are the runner-up in the Nintendo World Championship 2017! Oh, hey! We have the Senior Vice President of Nintendo of America, Doug Bowser, here to hand out your medals. We've got the silver here for John. Oh, it's super heavy, I know. And we've got the gold for our champion! Congratulations, Thomas G. You did a fantastic job making it all the way to the top. And Doug here has a special trophy for you. Andrea, thank you very much. You guys have fun tonight? What an amazing, amazing finish. On behalf of Nintendo of America, I'd first like to thank all of you guys for being here tonight. That was really special, thank you. And for all those fans at home viewing on TV and other streams, thank you for, for being a part of this also. <laughs> Second, I'd like to congratulate the 24 contestants. They did a great job. Including those amazing 12 and unders. They were fantastic. We, uh, we threw a lot at you guys, and you did an amazing job. Congratulations. And finally, to the winner of the Nintendo World Championship 2017, Thomas, congratulations.
Thomas, you are obviously no stranger to competitions, having competed many times before, but what are you feeling right now? Uh, this is incredible. You know, usually I'm, I'm the runner-up, or I, I never make it all the way, but today I did it. Well, listen, <laughs> raise that trophy. You got this. It's heavy. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. We appreciate you coming out here tonight to the Manhattan Center Grand Ballroom for the Nintendo World Championship 2017. To wrap it up and take it home, Jordan, one last time. Thank you so much. A big thank you to Andrea. Fantastic job with everything this evening. A big thank you to my other casters, Morgan, Audrey, Bill, Eric, and Ashley. And of course, a big thank you to the players. They certainly made this championship. Our fantastic crew that handled everything as well. But I think most importantly, a big thank you to you, the fans, for making this event for what it is. Thank you for coming out and showing out. That'll do it for our 2017 Nintendo World Championships. Until next time, thank you once again.